Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about the introduction of multi vibrators. So, what do you mean by multi vibrator? Multi vibrator. You might know oscillator. Okay, multi vibrator is also an oscillator, but here multi means if you separate the word multi vibrator, it consists of multi. And second word is vibrator. Multi vibrator. Multi means many. Vibrator means oscillator. What is the purpose of oscillator? It produces oscillations. Okay, continuous signals. So the circuit which produces continuous oscillations or many oscillations is nothing but your multi vibrator. Okay, so multi vibrator is a circuit which produces a lot of oscillations. Okay, suppose if you are taking an oscillation, oscillation is nothing but any type of waveform. Suppose if you are taking a square waveform, continuously this type of square or pulse will be continued for infinite duration. Infinite duration, on off, on off, on off, like that it is continuously producing. This is called multi vibrator many oscillations are being generated okay how it is made up of it is made up of purely combination of two transistors okay so it needs two transistors two transistors for creation Okay, so there are two transistors required for the creation of this multi vibrator. Now, before going into much detail about the multi vibrators, what are the different types of multi vibrators we should know? So, there are three different types of multi vibrators. They are, there are very, very important multi vibrators. There are three types of multi vibrators there are three different types of multi vibrators available for different applications they are they are so what are they first one Bistable multi vibrator, bistable multi vibrator, and second one, monostable multi vibrator, monostable multi vibrator, and third one, a stable multi vibrator, a stable multi vibrator so these are the three popular classifications of this multi vibrator one is bistable multi vibrator monostable multi vibrator and a stable multi vibrator now let us see briefly about these three multi vibrators so the first one a bistable multi vibrator bistable multi vibrator if you see the names of these three one is bistable another one is monostable and third one is stable that means it is having some stable state in the output okay in bistable multi vibrator as the name clearly tells that bi bi means two bi means two and stable means it is having two stable states it is having two stable states what do you mean by two stable states suppose let us consider i told you already there are two transistors required for the uh, implementation of this particular vibrator multi vibrator okay two transistors are there those two transistors if they are in on and off that means one uh, one transistor is complement with the other transistor if one transistor is said to be in on state another transistor should set to be in off states okay nothing but they are in always in complementary configuration push pull configuration 
okay so in such a way at that time there will be two states are being generated if both of the states in the output are stable nothing but suppose if you are taking a state like you can better understand when we go into the topic in detail okay uh, i told you already there are two transistors let us consider these are the two transistors q1 and q2 suppose assume that one transistor is in on state and the transistor is in off state i told you already these are the two transistors which are in complementary configuration one is in on definitely is in on is in off so in such a way we are constructing the circuit okay so one transistor is in on state and the transistor is in off state so when one transistor is in on state we are taking the outputs across the collectors the first transistor output collector is zero because it is in on state and the second transistor collector output is vcc so let us assume that it is the vcc voltage which is appeared at the output of the collector of second transistor q2 okay now until you forcefully disturb the transistor q2 the states of this particular transistors will not vary that is the meaning of bistable multi vibrator okay the state which is assumed here like q1 is on and q2 is off that particular state is permanent that particular state is permanent okay this is case 1 this is case 1 so q1 is in on state q2 is in off state so this particular state is permanent until you disturb with an external signal okay if you do not give any external signal this state is permanent for infinite duration okay now we are giving an external signal that is known as triggering pulse that is known as triggering pulse so triggering pulse is very very helpful here which is used to change the state of a transistor okay so whenever a triggering pulse is applied then the transistor of this particular bistable multi vibrator they are changing their states so when a triggering pulse is applied then on transistor becomes off and off transistor becomes on the states of these two are altered then output of this particular transistor is equal to zero suppose if you are taking it is the collector of the transistor q2 q2 collector voltage i am taking here okay initially as the transistor is in off state output is equal to vcc because open circuited and as the now as the transistor is in on state after application of triggering pulse then output is equal to zero because it is a short circuit in the on state so q2 output is collector output is zero okay so this is the output again this particular state is stable until you apply one more triggering pulse okay so again if you want to change the state of this particular transistors again you are going to apply another triggering pulse another triggering pulse then again the output states will be changed here see the first state is a stable state it is a stable state stable state is nothing but until you give external force the state will be remained forever okay and the second state is also a stable state because it is remained forever until you are giving an external triggering pulse so as this vibrator is having two stable states this particular multi vibrator is known as bistable multi vibrator there are two stable states there are two stable states how the stable states are going to be disturbed by the application of external triggering pulse okay triggering pulse is nothing but very short span duration signal which is a uh, like uh, we can say triggering pulse most commonly generated from a uh, high pass filter high pass differentiator filter differentiator is nothing but we know which is a, a where rc is less than less than input signal time period then a triggering pulse is generated with a short span triggering pulse we know uh, what is that uh, differentiator output this is the output of differentiator i told you already when rc is very very less compared to the input signal time period for a high pass rc circuit then it is acting as a triggering pulse in that case it produces spikes this small time interval is sufficient to make the transistor on just one small instant to change the state of the transistor okay this is what the 
bistable multivibrator. Coming to the second case, which is a monostable, which is monostable multivibrator. So by this time, you can have an imagination how uh, the bistable multivibrator and uh, differentiated with respect to the monostable multivibrator. In bistable multivibrator, both the states are stable. But here in monostable multivibrator, one is a stable state, another one is a quasi stable state. Okay. So in bistable multivibrator, this is the case. So what is that? Two stable states are there. I will highlight with red color. So bistable, two stable states are there. Okay. Here in monostable, the two, two states are one is stable state, one stable state, one stable state and one quasi stable state, quasi stable state. What do you mean by quasi? Quasi means temporary. Quasi means temporary. Okay, uh, if you are taking a waveform like this, see, this is a stable state, this is a stable state, what do you mean by stable state? This state is permanent until you give a triggering pulse, here you are giving a triggering pulse because of the application of triggering pulse, this particular state will be changed to the zero. And again, it goes to the quasi-stable state. In quasi-stable state, the signal, the signal or a transistor stays in that duration for very small amount of duration. In that state for very small amount of duration, and automatically it goes back to the stable state. Okay. Suppose assume a condition like Q1 is in on state and Q2 is in off state. Here also I am taking the output across the transistor Q2. So Q2 collector. Okay. Initially what happened as the transistor QT is in off state, we will be having VCC as the output. This particular state is permanent state. Now to disturb the states of the transistors, now this particular state is a stable state. Okay. So now we are giving a triggering pulse here. Whenever a triggering pulse is given, the states of the transistors are altered. Now Q1 becomes off and Q2 becomes on. Q1 becomes off, Q2 becomes on. But this is a, what is the condition here? Quasi-stable state. This is a quasi-state. Quasi-stable state means temporary stable state. So after some duration, after some duration, very short span, it immediately turns back to the stable state again that means nothing but q1 becomes on and q2 becomes off this is a stable state hope you understand so in monostable multivibrator one is stable state one stable state is there and one quasi stable state is there so we as one is a quasi stable state it automatically changes its state but to disturb the stable state definitely we need a triggering pulse. So here one triggering pulse is needed and one stable state is there, one quasi stable state is there. In the previous case, two stable states are there. So to get back from both the states, we are having two triggering pulses. And the third case is an stable multivibrator. A stable multivibrator. What do you mean by stable? So in both the previous cases, one is two stable states, another one is one stable state, one quasi stable state. Here, both the states are, both states are quasi stable states. Quasi stable states. Nothing but how many triggering pulses are required, can you guess? No triggering pulse is needed because both are quasi. No triggering pulse is needed okay so as both the states are quasi stable states that means if one is said to be in on like this 
automatically goes back to the off and again on and again off like this okay so our uh, these two states this one and as well as this one these two states are quasi stable states quasi states are temporary states after some time again they will go back to the next state okay so that's why no triggering pulse is needed that is the reason why it is known as a stable multi vibrator a stable multi vibrator a stable means not one stable state remember okay students may confuse at this point a stable means no stable a stable means opposite with the stable sir a stable word a stable multi vibrator means no stable state is there both are quasi stable states so no triggering pulse is needed okay so that is a stable multi vibrator this is the introduction of multi vibrators like uh, bi stable multi vibrator mono stable multi vibrator and a stable multi vibrator now our next task is to study about individual vibrators in depth okay if you go into the uh, bi stable multi vibrator again there are two classifications like a collector uh, collector coupled and as well as emitter coupled again in the collector coupled there are two types of fixed bias and self bias so we will see all these individually in depth in the coming videos thank you